Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be organizing my spices. This is a short and sweet video but I thought I'd share it with you guys still because it's very motivating and I just love the way it turned out. If you are in need of some motivation this new year to start organizing, hopefully this video helps. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see new videos that I'll be posting. One of my goals this year is to be posting bi-weekly. So here's the before. I already tried to organize these spices once. I thought it'd be nice to save space in my drawers and keep the spices here in the cabinet. I use this shelf to place all the spices on so they can kind of be layered and I can fit more spices in this area. The thought was a good idea. It just didn't work well for me. I see a lot of people doing this and it looks really nice, but it just wasn't something that I liked because I didn't like needing to move the spices in the front out of the way to reach the spices in the back. It's not a huge deal. I just wanted to see how it would look better in my drawer and I will tell you I love it so much better and I'm so glad I decided to do this. So here's everything I use to organize my spice drawers and like always I'll go ahead and put the links down below so you guys can have access to everything that I used. First off I used these M Designed Expandable Kitchen Spice Rack Drawer Organizers. You can buy them from M Designs website. I got them off Amazon but they're also sold at Target. Next, I use these spice jars that I found off Amazon. Amazon has a ton of different spice jars. These are the ones I chose, however, because when I try to organize my spices once before, these are the same jar, so I just wanted them all to match. They came with stickers. I went ahead and purchased my own stickers, though, because I like the way those looked better, but I'm definitely gonna save these for maybe something in the future or if somebody I know would like to use them because they are really good stickers. I just realized I didn't show you guys the labels that I ordered off of Etsy. Like I said, I'll put the link down below, but I'll make sure I show you guys later in this video a close-up of what those stickers look like. So now you see me prepping the jars. I'm taking the stickers off some of the jars that I had purchased at the store that I plan to reuse and then I also cleaned off all the labels that I used on the jars once before for my other organization that I did with it. I do not recommend doing this though because then once I did all of this I realized I had no idea what spice was what. I had an idea kind of of what spices were but there were some that looked very similar and I had a hard time figuring out what they were. So you'll see me writing all the spices down on my phone and putting them in that order and then I'll start googling some spices to kind of match what they look like. So for filling these spice jars I'm just using these little metal funnels that I had purchased once before that I already had and I just like this better than the silicone one that came with the jars that are just a little more sturdy and it was a little bigger so I will also link this one down below but like I said you don't have to use this one because it does come with a funnel that you could use. So here's a close-up of what the label looked like from Etsy. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below, but I just really like the way these look. I like that these are washable labels and that they're nice, clean, and white, and with a small print that's very simple and aesthetically pleasing to look at. So like I said earlier, I definitely recommend switching over your spices to the new jars and then labeling as you go so you don't make the same mistake I did and forgetting which spice was what, and it just took longer for me to figure out which spice was what and Googling and making sure I labeled the correct one. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you. If you guys have some new 2021 organizing goals, let me know in the comments down below. I have a huge list in my mind that I wanna organize in my house and I just don't even know where to start and I'd love to know what goals you guys have for organizing this year. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care 
as long as I'm with you. Oh. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket to paradise. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, now... And here is the final reveal. I love the way this drawer looks. It's so aesthetically pleasing to look at. I keep finding myself opening this drawer randomly in the kitchen just to see what it looks like because I'm just totally obsessed. I'm so glad that I did this. I should have done it much sooner, but it just looks so good. If you guys have any questions about the products I used, I will link everything down below. I also just want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. It has grown so much in this last year and I just really appreciate all your support. Look into my eyes, you can use them as a mirror, you're my ticket to paradise.